As I continued to read through Barb's journals, I slowly came to an understanding that these writings, scrawled upon pages of long-forgotten books, now dog-eared through time, revealed something deeper, more genuine than just Barb's experiences of thrilling adventures and desperate agonies of broken relationships. I realized, or more accurately I was shown, that her experiences while on that 30-day cross-country road trip echoed themes and situations that paralleled many other entries from earlier journals. Nice Ride is about a life that expresses pain without an inkling of bitterness or sense of entitlement and contentment without apology or pride. It's about a woman who was resolute in trusting that life in general was purposed and lived it resolutely and purposely even through the insanely dark times of terminal illness. Ultimately, though, I think only one lesson really mattered to Barb, and now to me, and serves only to one end. How to embrace transformational read lessons through a deeper and greater truth about ourselves in a very large God, the universe who is love. On March 31, 2011, when Barb informed us of her diagnosis of stage 4 soft tissue sarcoma cancer, or as she put it, our little situation, she was given very little time to live. The myriad of emails to and from Barb, myself, and what became her team healers substantiated for us the phenomenal effect of what active prayer and human goodness can do. Barb outlived her original prognosis by a year and three months. Next Ride, Emails, Passages, and Passings, is a collection of the email letters that cascaded from one computer to another from the wide circle of Barb's friends, as well as alternative health care takers, writers, poets, stockbrokers, and many others who were not only captivated by her unbelievable resilience as she accepted with insight and honesty her little situation, but wanted to be a part of the miracle.